So we got this corroded pipe again, guys. We got the correct rods. We got some 6010s and some 8010 pipe liners. That's about how I clean my tacks. You don't want to take no risks. Remember, you don't want to tack in here or in here because this is where you'll be cutting your straps. You want to clean well all around. One thing I did, I did notice, I probably beveled my my ears too much. You're gonna have a lot of welding to do there, but it'll be all right. All right guys, so we got some 60 10 one eight rods. We'll be running about 88 amps at 60% dig. And pretty much what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be starting my arc here in this here tight, heat it up and progress this way. I don't want to have any starts and stops here, like I said before. Uh, I got quite a bit of a gap. And actually, I'm gonna weld the gulps first because as soon as I get to welding this, the pipe would shrink. So it would probably bring my ears in closer to the pipe. Forgot about that one. I haven't done a branch in a while, so start doing it here. Now we got the other side of the throat. Pretty much we're gonna be doing the same thing. I could have started it with a little bit light, uh, tighter on the other side. I should have gone off an amperage, but we're still fused in there. So that's the way our root is coming out in there, guys. Got a little fingernail there in that tie-in. So we gotta go extra hot on our hot pass right around that area, just to make sure it's completely fused. Now, if you got any spots where you think you didn't fuse, you could always grind it down and, and, and go over with the 6010 to make sure you're actually penetrated. But, it looks like we're we're in there like i said the fit wasn't all perfect but all you want is everything to be burned like all the walls to be burned down and a root in there let's go ahead and put a hot pass in there all right guys so we've got some 810 pipe liners now i don't really well down here with this machine so bear with me Say 
set it right around 125 and go from there. Now, one tip I ain't gonna tell you guys, I was having issues on my first couple, couple of branches that I did back in the days. So, a little tip for anybody that's struggling and is blowing through, or you can't get your rock deep in there to wash the trash out, don't tell the inspectors, but I use 6010 one eight rod sometimes for the hot pads, just where I was gonna cut my straps without them seeing, seeing me. Now if they see you and they catch you and they bust you, don't blame me for it, because it's not allowed. But that's what I did, and I got away with it. And I finally not, didn't, didn't do it anymore. We're gonna do the same thing, guys. Start, and don't stop anywhere around here. You might be able to stop here, now you, you got a little thicker rod, so we'll see how far we can get. Catching one of the sides, you might catch some slag in there, so be careful with that. And I think we're running pretty good at that amperage. We could probably go hotter, but for this video's sake, we'll keep it there. Where I started at, you want to go ahead and grind that out. You want to leave a little ramp in there so you can fuse into the, to the hot pad real good. I think it's a corrosion running back from the pot into the, to the portal.
So a seven inch grinder would be much better with a buffing wheel to clean it up. Don't be scared of that up there. You're gonna burn it out. Just make sure you tie it to the walls. As long as you ain't got no pinholes in there, you'll be all right. That's our hot pass. Could have gone hotter maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not used to this little bitty machine. I used to run an SA200. I love that, but uh, that's how our root is coming out after the hot pass. It's all, all fused in there, so we're good. Uh, that way. Bend it down for me. That way. Bend it down a little bit for me on the camera. Okay. Give me the photo. After the hot pass and the hot filler, it probably went too thin right there. It's still fused. 
when you get over here everything's easy dude usually on a 12 inch branch you can stick your grinder in there and the inspector makes you buff it out so you can look at your bead but you can't stick a grinder in there guys you can still look at it though it's pretty confused so that's the way that's coming out i'm having some issues i don't know if you guys can see in the puddle but i'm having some issues somewhere around here but it's it's the corrosion in the pipe falling into the puddle so it's creating a little undercut there that won't happen with clean pipe but let's say it did and you were actually undercutting the top of the pipe what i would do i would get a metabol blade and clean all that out that way you know you for sure 100 percent no slag is getting caught up on that undercut but that's the way that looks right there ready for the for another fill one thing i am going to tell you guys don't lose track of the bottom that way you know you can guide yourself on the cap so leave yourself a little lip in there to hang on to So that's the feel right there. I think we're ready for a cap. What do you guys think? Two bead, three bead, seven bead, 10 bead cap. And this is what I mean right here on the ears, guys. I went out too far, so it's gonna look kind of droopy in there. So we gotta be able to feel the top. On this side, it would look better with three bead cap, but everywhere else, it's, it's good for a 2B cap. Ask your inspector how many caps he wants. Otherwise, you get run off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom and work my way up. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do, do a 2B cap. So, but we'll see. We'll see as soon as we get done with the first cap. top cap oh shit it's just hot that's the way it's looking hopefully it don't look too ugly with two beads because like i said i beveled the ears back a little bit too much you get it
poor little yes welder clamp burnt it out. I ain't got a clamp anymore. Are you ready, bro? Yeah, you good. Ready, B? Let's go get him. Alright, let's go ahead and Thank you guys around, alright?